Hello guys, this is TNMP. Welcome to a continuation of a series where I show you how to mod your Wii with each video being a separate step in the process. In this video, I'm going to be talking about WeemFi. So, WeemFi is um, essentially a way to play Mario Kart and other games, but mainly for me it's Mario Kart because that's the only one that I have online. Now, um... <coughs> In 2014, I think May 2014, Nintendo shut down the WFC service, which it was, which is what was used to play Mario Kart and all these games online on the Wii and the DS. Now, there there's technicalities. Technically, Nintendo didn't own the servers, and the company that rented the servers out to Nintendo was shutting down and that's why they just didn't feel like finding a new company to host these servers so they ended up just in discontinuing the service but that's not what's important what's important is um this is what got me into um installing homebrew in the first place or this is what got me interested at least wingfi you're gonna need homebrew channel now there are ways to do it with an iso I don't know how to do it with an ISO, and I'm not going to. <laughs> um, so, if you're use if you have an ISO of any of these games that you want to patch, there are tools for that. But I'm not going to be talking about those because that's not how I'm doing it. I'm using a real disc, so this this tutorial you'll need a real disc. Um. <clears throat> So there are this there's this tutorial, but that's okay. <laughs> so first to actually get WeemFi, you need the WeemFi patcher. So uh I'll put this link in the description. Get uh come down here, you can scroll down, and this way you can also get the um <coughs> this is this section is for an ISO. And this section is for if you're actually using a disc. So you're going to uh, go to playing from a real disc. And this link here, download for Wii Fi Patcher 0 0.5. <coughs> 0 0.5. Uh, that'll download the uh, zip. Let me, this is the patcher. And basically what you what you do is, hold on. Um... Just go into the root of your SD card and copy these two folders and paste them into the root of your SD card. Now, I've already done this, of course, so I'm not going to be doing this again, but, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, you'll end up having it be usable on Homebrew Channel. So, technically, you've already installed WeemFi. And the way you run it is the way you would run anything else. First, you put the disc for whatever game you're playing into the uh, into the Wii. Then you go over on your Wii, you open up the homebrew channel, and <coughs> one of the uh, one of the things that will appear on the homebrew channel. Oh, obviously, put your SD card in. One of the things that appears on the homebrew channel will be WeemFi. Um, something that the README mentioned, and I think I should also say, is you need to run this patcher every time you want to play online. It's not just one time and, and then uh, that will do it. You have to run it every time through the patcher. Um, because the the patch is not permanent, it's not writing to the disc because that's physically impossible with a Wii. If you haven't already played online with this game before, you're fine. If you already played it online before the shutdown of the servers, you will need to take this extra step. It's not too difficult, but it is something you need to do. And the reason is that the profile ID, the from your original account, won't work anymore with your new account, with your with WeemFi. 
Um, that's a change they made recently. It was a couple months before I started playing on WinFi. So you'll need to take this extra step. You'll need to come to this here. Uh, it, it is not in English, the web page, but it's pretty easy to determine, like, do what it says. It's not too difficult. So first you download this, then, hold on. All right, so once you download this, this is what that, what this download is. It's this zip folder here. And it there's four files in here. Basically, copy these, paste them into the codes folder of your SD card. The codes, it'll be in the root and then codes. I already have the files there, but you need to copy them into there. It's a cheat code. It's just going to clear out your profile ID so that WeemFi can make a new one for you that is compatible with its network instead of the network, the original WFC network. Save Game Manager GX. This is going to make a copy of your save game uh, in Mario Kart so that if something goes wrong with the cheat code, you don't lose all your information, all your uh, data. Extract these into a folder within the apps folder of your SD card, and then you'll end up with, so this is how it should be. SD, then apps, then whatever you want the folder to be called, and then within it, put these three files. Those three files uh, are, you're going to have to run another thing, which it will now appear on the home screen of the Homebrew app, uh, channel. <coughs> then, once you've done that, you need to get uh, USB Loader GX, which is how you're going to run the cheat code. Open this, extract the apps folder to the root of your SD card. Now I will head over to the actual Wii and show you how you're going to be running this cheat code. Save Game Manager GX is so that you can back up the save of your game, the, the save of Mario Kart. It's usually something you want to do, but it's not completely needed. It's really just in case something goes wrong with the USB loaders. Go into settings, loader settings. I think I'd probably, okay, whatever. <laughs> loader settings. Um, and then go to Ocarina, turn that on, make sure it's on. Ocarina means cheat codes. So There we go. Um, okay. Um, I, I did something wrong. I know what I did wrong, but that's okay. Don't, so basically just run this. <coughs> just run this. It will work. The instructions for how to actually use the cheat code are on the are within the link that I'm gonna put for downloading it you just have to scroll a little below the download button I'm gonna show you the first steps of actually using WeemFi because there is a little bit more to it um so they recently added something where the first time you join it you have to wait seven days before you can actually play it really Open WeemFi Patcher Load. Um, so, yeah, in the USB loader, hit that upper right corner thing where it's a, that it's a picture of the disk. Hit that, are pretty much useless. Okay, maybe it's per Wii that that rule applies. Basically, all the cheat, all the error codes that the Wii provides you are all the error like 
descriptions are useless. They are not actually what the real error codes are. So to find out what the error you are getting means, there is a tool. Um, I will leave it the link to it in the description. Basically, you type in the error code at, on WeemFi. It's on the website of WeemFi. You type the error code in and it tells you what it means like what it really means so use that <laughs> um one of them is basically one of them means the first time you play you have to wait seven days before you can like the first time you go into the play online you have to wait seven days before you can actually play online I guess it's per Wii that that rule applies because I was just able to create an account and get right into it immediately. But basically, some of the error codes tell you how many hours you have left before you're allowed to play. Um, that's like that's a whole section of area codes or error codes, I should say that's like what it's called <laughs> um so yeah once you do that you basically are set um and in the future you can play online just every time you want to play online you have to open weemfi through the homebrew channel so yeah um, it's been a while since I did one of these videos. Apparently one of the links, um, one of the links I used, I think for getting the Reggie dumper, that link no longer works. So I had to put, uh, new, I had to put the file on my website and change the link to be that. So... Yeah, if any of the links that I give you stop working, just tell me in the description. That's something I, sh uh, I should tell you to do because I want to make sure no matter how long, in the, no matter how far in the future somebody watches the, the video, that it still works <coughs> with the new, with the links and all still work. I don't want it to become one of those things where the links become out of date and no longer work. So I want to keep this series kind of alive in the sense that it will work forever, <laughs> as long as I can make it work. But yeah, so, um, thanks for, thanks for watching this video, if you enjoyed it, please like, do subscribe if you've not done so already, and goodbye.